As the sun rises over the mist-laden mountains, we see for the first time the beautiful panorama of the fabulous city of Hollywood, mecca of the motion picture industry. With its myriad of homes dotted hither and yon in the hilltops, its busy thoroughfares, its happy throngs of gay-hearted citizens rushing here and there. And in the dancing sunbeams, we notice the architectural splendor of Hollywood that befits such a glamorous metropolis. Yes, even the buildings have a personality all their own, as witness the oriental magnitude of the Chinese theater, with its pagodas and gracious figurines bedecking the contour of the structure. Hollywood broadcasting studios, where millions of Americans listen nightly to the star-studded programs that emanate from these modernistic radio emporiums. And the Temple of Art, the Earl Carroll Theater, with its famous slogan, through these portals pass the most beautiful girls in the world. And another theater of mirth, the El Capitan Theater, with its scintillating array of stars, presented by that ace comedian, Ken Murray. Yes, there's lots to see and do in this wonderful city of Hollywood, a magnet drawing thousands upon thousands of people from all walks of life to a particular cross-section of humanity. An endless movement of rhythmic feet towards the center of the world, Hollywood and Vine. Extra, extra, read all about it. Martin Murray shows Hollywood party. Extra, read all about it. Martin Murray shows Hollywood party. I'm waiting to go to Martin Murray's birthday party. Why are you dressed like that? Can you tell me how to get to Martin Murray's house? Oh, you must be going to his birthday party. Yeah, I hate to go. Well, then where are you going? Oh, I had a fight with my boyfriend and I want to suffer. Ginny, where are those two guys we have dates with? Oh, here they come now. Hello, girls. I brought my friend along, just like I promised. My sister says she won't go out until she hears him talk. Okay, sister, let's have it. Give me everything you've got. Sure, I'd be glad to. I mean your money. My money? How dare you? Come on, or I'll shoot. Oh, please don't shoot. I'll do anything you say. Anything? Yes, anything. All right. Will you go to Martin Murray's birthday party with me? Is that where you're going? Yeah. Go ahead. Shoot. see your operator's license. The judge wouldn't give me one. Wouldn't give you one, eh? How'd you like to come along to the station house with me? <laughs> no, thanks. You're not my type. And besides, I'm going to Martin Murray's birthday party. Say, you look like a nice fella. Here's a ticket to the party. You'll be there this afternoon at 5 o'clock. Well, say, that's mighty nice. I really like that. Here's a ticket for you. You'll be in traffic court at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Right now, we have a real treat for you. I want you to meet a little lady from Earl Carroll's. She's a pretty little skate and a pretty little skater. The one and only Jeannie Ritchie.
don't sing, I don't dance, and I don't tell funny stories. All I got is talent. Would you like to make some money? Sure, like, I'd love it. Would you like to make $100? $100? Oh. I'd, I'd bet you $100 that you're not here. Let me get this straight. You're going to bet me $100 that I'm not here? That's right. I bet you $100 you're not here. You know, you're crazy, you know. Put it up. All right, there's $100. And I'm not here. That's right. Would you like to make more than $100? You want to bet me more? That's right. Same thing? Same thing. Not here? Not here. Put it up. That's $200. All right. Prove it to me that I'm not here. You're not in Chicago, are you? No. You're not in Detroit, are you? No. You're not in New York, are you? No. But well, if you're not in Chicago, you're not in Detroit, you're not in New York, you must be someplace else. That's right. Well, if you must be someplace else, you're not here. He rooked me somewhere over there. Well, I'll try to work it on somebody else. It must be somebody the dumber than I. Ah! Hello, Billy. Hiya, Shovel Snot. <laughs> Don't add Libby, please. <laughs> now, what do you want? Would you like to make some money? I'd love to make some money. How? Uh, $100? $100, $100. What doing? I'll bet you $100 that you're not here. Can I bet me $100 that I'm not here? $100 you're not here. I bet. $100. $100. That's for me, boy. That's right. I'm more. not here, eh? That's right. Like right. me some more? Anything you say. Another $100. $100. Okay. Who we'll put the 50 in here? <laughs> now, hey, you prove it to me. All right. You're not in Chicago, are you? I'm not in Chicago. Not in Detroit, are you? Not in Detroit. I'm going to get him. You're not in New York, are you? I'm not in New York. You're not in Chicago, not Detroit, not New York. Mm -hmm. You've got to be someplace else. That's right. You're someplace else, you can't be here. That's right. That's right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You lost. Put what that money down. down. What do you mean, put what money down? The money you just picked up there. You lost that. What money are you talking about? The money we bet you just picked up. You lost. Don't give me that. Wait a minute. Come oh. over here. You look here, up. look here. Just a minute. Just a minute, Droopstone. Droopstone. I'm not in Chicago. No. I'm not in Detroit. I'm not in New York. Well, if I'm not in Chicago, not in Detroit, not in New York, it must be some other place, right? That's right. If I'm in some other place, I can't be here. No. If I'm not here, I couldn't take your money. Bumba. Well, where is everyone? Let's go in the house and find out. It's been a wonderful party, hasn't it? Terrific party. Whatever yeah. became of that beautiful wife of yours, where is she? Pat? Pat, yeah, where She's is over she? here somewhere. Where you run? Let's get her to sing a song. Pat, come over here, honey. I oh. called you over here because I want you to sing a song with Harry. Billy, my, that's a lovely ring you had there. You haven't seen it before? Where'd you get it? My fairy godmother gave it to me. Your fairy godmother? Mm -hmm. Haven't you got a fairy godmother? No, but I've got an uncle I'm not so sure of. How do you like that? My wife wants to be a comic now. Uh, what are you going to sing, Pat? Well, since Harry's here, I'd like to sing one of his songs. Well, he's written so many of his. Did you ever see a dream walking? Stay as sweet as you Stay are? Stay as sweet as you are. That's the one. Okay, Harry. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We're going to Grapefruit Grove. Where? We're going to Grapefruit Grove. 
Mm, that explains a couple of things. <laughs> yeah, I feel good tonight, though. You know, I mean, I'm really working wonder, out. You know, you're so healthy and so full of them. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know, you look really healthy, and, uh... What would you folks do in a case like this? <laughs> well, so long, Marie. Thanks, See you later. Huh? Bye. And now, gang, I want you to meet a young lady whose singing and talents has made her one of the outstanding personalities in Hollywood. In fact, she has beauty. She has a face that producers go for, a face that cameramen go for, directors go for. So may I present gopher face Lynn Ashley. Here she is. Come on out, Lynn. <laughs> I got you up here. I want you to sing a little song for us, but uh, you think you can sing? Are you sober? Oh, sober? What do you uh, mean, sober? Of course I am. I haven't been drinking half as much as I should be. Oh, you haven't, eh? No. How come? I cut out the chasers. Who writes your material? You Go don't. Sing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Introducing now for your pleasure a new song written for the picture by Harry Revell, one of Hollywood's outstanding composers, and sung by a new scintillating chanteuse, a delineator of popular songs, star of the National Broadcasting Company, Miss Linda Stevens. Linda. Love is a temporary thing. It doesn't last forever. Love is a sentimental fling that brings two hearts together. Just when you're certain you found a love that will last, down comes the curtain. Your future is strictly a past. Love is a trip to paradise. That much I know is cricket. And you'll be careful if you're wise and buy a two-way ticket. Yet who am I to vilify? Wonders of Cupid and Spring. Well, I'm just a lucky fool, exception to prove the rule. That love is a temporary thing. Love is a trip to paradise. That much I know is cricket. Be careful if you're wise and get a two-way ticket. Yet who am I to vilify the wonders of Cupid and Spring? Well, I'm just a lucky fool, exception to prove the rule that love is. Now that the critics have previewed this wonderful picture, we have something special for Martin Murray. Martin, come here. 
Martin, you've done a wonderful job. Thank you. And the critics feel that you're entitled to an Academy Award. Me? Yes, An Academy you. Award? Yes. The Acme Riding Academy. Oh! Well, folks, we told you anything could happen in Hollywood, and it did. As we reluctantly say farewell to this fabulous city of make-believe, we notice once again that busy thoroughfare Hollywood Boulevard with its teeming thousands of rhythmic feet homeward bound. A veritable maelstrom of happy humanity through with their chores for the day. Yes, night will fall as it invariably must. Celestial stars will smile down upon the motion picture luminaries, and dust will envelop the most glamorous city in the world, Hollywood.